build these aluminum snowflakes on our CNC. We've picked three different colors, three different designs, and three different sizes. You can configure them for a nice wind chime for outdoor use, or bring the small and medium ones inside and hang them on your Christmas tree for a fun DIY ornament. We also engraved a couple for a nice personalized touch. Toolstoday.com is my source for solid carbide, carbide tipped, and carbide insert bits and tooling for my CNC. I also love their free shipping options. Stick around, hope you enjoy. Three sections of 3 16 inch thick aluminum that were 24 inch square. I sanded them down to remove any nicks and scratches and then primed them using a special aluminum primer that you can pick up at a local big box store or online. I then sprayed each panel a different color, red, green, and gold. I will post an Amazon link in the description for these paints. To keep the parts from being damaged as they are cut away from the sheet, I'm using double sided tape to keep them in place. I load the section of aluminum on my CNC bed and hold it down with aluminum clamps. To engrave the names into the snowflakes, we will be using a MANA tool number RCK-380 with a feed rate of 5 inches per minute, 24,000 RPMs, and a step down of 1 32nd of an inch. I always put a piece of scrap wood underneath the bit when changing it. As the bit is released, it won't damage your work. To make the profile cuts, we will be using a MANA tool number 51402 with a feed rate of 20 inches per minute, 10,000 RPMs, and a step down of 1 16th of an inch per pass. I was getting a little chatter with a double sided tape in the clamp so I decided to use mechanical fasteners to get a more rigid setup. I drilled each corner in the midpoint of the aluminum sheet. I then pre-drilled the spoil board to prevent mushrooming and drove a screw. When the engraving was complete, I used the V-bit to mark the point where I needed to pre-drill and secure another screw. I used the computer screen and positioned the bit in between the snowflakes so I would not risk damaging the bit. This provided a much more rigid setup and the chatter discontinued. As each snowflake was completed, I could use a flathead screwdriver to pop them out and clean them up. I removed the double sided tape and used a brush to remove any trips. I drilled a small hole at the drill press for the ribbon. I used a small countersink bit to remove the burrs on each side of the hole.
I then threaded a piece of ribbon through and tied a knot on the top. 